Hello, hello. Welcome to All Mama All Right. Today was a rain, another rainy day, but a better emotional invested rainy day. Not sure if that makes sense. But yesterday I was kind of affected by the rain. It's just not a happy camper. Like I think a lot of people when it rains for the first time, but now kind of being ready for another day and rest of the weekend um, with this type of weather. It was, it was good. It's just, it's really chilly here. Uh, I was, we were walking downtown and someone even compared it to Chicago. So those Chicagoans would be laughing because it is only, I mean, it's still 55 degrees. And to my understanding, that is when y'all are wearing short sleeves and shorts and rainbows. So rainbow flip flops. So yeah, now us Northern Californians are, I can only speak for myself. I'm, I'm pretty wussy when it comes to cold weather. Yet I do love a good, a good down jacket and scarves and beanies and any accessory that you can put to a winter coat. So I just have to do it and wear, wear that stuff. Because today I did not, I did not wear an appropriate jacket, and I was, I was nipply, and we had a good day. It was honestly the first day since forever. I think leaving, well, starting this venture one, and I don't know why I would be working prior to this venture after leaving my corporate role, but. I got a solid like two hours straight of work and I am so proud of what I was able to accomplish. Yet it was all just social, social, yet it was all, my job's going to be in social media. So obviously I was working in there, but it was not necessarily content creation. I'm still getting certain social media platforms up and running and looking like cohesive across the board. Lots of, you know, consistency is queen is what this, uh, what the gals um, who run the business course, course kind of say, or they do say it's literally a quote in this book. And I love it because I enjoy other platforms or other, you know, like my fault, who I follow knowing when, you know, they have themes for how they, how they post throughout the week. And like Tuesdays, they post inspirational uh, quotes. Wednesdays, they provide resources for X, Y, and Z. Thursdays, they promote their podcast that they recorded on Tuesday. Like there's always a flow. And and then certain times of day, what are best for your target audience? Again, mine are mamas. So probably, you know, first thing in the morning to maybe lunchtime, even that's a little tricky when you, when you have kids, but definitely, you know, evening um, and, and late evening. And, and just going through these exercises are quite interesting because I've never really looked at my platform in a business sense and it's definitely as I'm sure most of you who follow me know and friends with me on Instagram or follow me on Instagram friends with me on Facebook um <laughs> apologize for my TikTok account it's hilarious I have no idea how to do TikTok and I keep creating those videos that say you're going to go viral not necessarily because I want to go viral just because that's what um certain plot certain things are telling me to do and like signs are telling me to it's really weird why I'm doing it because it doesn't make any sense but I and of course they're not working because I have no idea what the purpose of certain things going viral are because when I was posting, I was, I've been posting just my own random videos and, you know, me waking Zena and, 
and some fun videos of us and, you know, and now I think because I'm trying, that's why it's absolutely not working. That tends to be the case in my book. So, so maybe I'll just, you know, everything's linked now, which is nice. So that is one thing that I did. I made sure to link, you know, I got, I got a Twitter account. Don't ask me why, but that is something that was recommended. And again, if they can all link, then more mamas I can reach and they can find me. I can find them. And that's the whole point. Just how many mamas can I help? and be of service to and get connect because that's all I want to do is want to connect everybody so so that that's why it's like I'm I'm now on the Twitter the TikTok Instagram and then Facebook and then YouTube and I think that's it and I have a link uh, a link tree um so it's all of it is on my link tree. So that was another thing that I did. And so now you just have to find that and then you find all of me. And I'll continue adding to that, especially once I have the podcast. And and I th- I think I'm going to do a blog as well. And the blog is going to kind of be um, kind of like a story building platform for you know, I know I'm going to be influenced by everyone I have on the podcast. But maybe like every month or every two months, put out a blog summarizing, um, you know, biggest takeaways from from all the mamas that I've talked to and um, and all the resources like kind of collected because I know I'll have all the resources and uh, everything in show notes. So do you like all these terms I'm dropping? I, I just felt I felt pretty professional just now, like. I felt very business savvy. So hello, welcome to all mom. All right. And I am going to have to, and so AMA is kind of the, um, what is that called? Three key keyword key search or, um, I'm using it. Oh shoot. What is that called? When you shorten something? Oh my gosh. Brain at 6 1 PM apparently does not work, but yeah, AMA, which if you look it up, it means ask me anything. I love that because that's another type of, heck, that'll be another type of post that I do each week is just an ask me anything because I want to continue being as open, as honest, as vulnerable as I have been and I know that you know more things are gonna come shooting my way and I'm I I want to be able to hold the experiences that I hear as well as share my experiences Uh, and by sharing the experiences that's where I really believe will bring in the comfort and the um the desire for people to share their their insecurities, their vulnerabilities, and their stories to the fullest, to the fullest. Because I know we often hear about people's stories, but do we get all the dot, dot, dots? That's where I I want my platform to be where we start with the dot, dot, dots. Like I understand that you are a alcoholic and what did it look like when you were physically abused, dot, 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 you know, as opposed to just saying, oh, I was, you know, I was uh, sexually abused. When I went out and about, it's like, oh, no, what, there's more to this. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And I hope that is a place, I kind of use the extreme example right there, but I can relate. (laughs) And, um, and yeah, today I had some good reflection as to me being in this working state and how I really can't picture myself doing anything else. And then and then even sitting with the thought of like, well, you're not really doing anything. And then being able to realize that that is a you know, a, not a trauma 
thought, but a thought that is not true because I'm, I'm doing something, but it's all new what I'm doing. And so it's not, I, I, I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. And to be quite honest, I haven't had to learn new things in a while. Um, I mean, as a mom, you learn stuff all the time, but it's more like how to quickly change a diaper as poop is now spewing from the front of the diaper, not just the back. Um, and or how what what is the best bleach to use when you have blood on your new favorite uh, pair of panties? Um, you know, all that kind of stuff that isn't necessarily you know, like I set up a business PayPal account today and, and learned what, what other information I need from that. And that requires um, me to get a, you know, to finalize a business license. And then I learned um, from talking to my dad, actually, like kind of like tips and tricks of where to actually file the license. And it's not in California. And, and so, you know, going to go through with that. And um, so I'm feeling very, very bop lady F, which is new, which is honestly new. I've, I've always had a boss and a manager and I've never been able to, and even when I wanted to take on management roles, I've kind of been slammed down into the not ready category or the in, in due time and that makes you feel good not so much so so this is cool because I kind of I I'm my own boss in this sense and uh and I get to you know be my own cheerleader at my own pace and I've mentioned this a million times before I am going to try and stay as much in flow as possible as to not self, you know, have a form of self-sabotage or just getting overwhelmed, which causes me to get out of line with my ultimate purpose is to, you know, raise a child and to bring all the mamas together who are also raising children into staying in flow emotionally, mentally, physically, together, together, you know, the, let's all flow together, so, like, little fishies, like, little, or little turtles, 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 and, and, yeah, so today, it felt nice getting a lot of, a lot of ish done, and I just have to nail down my branding, and it's one of those, I am going to ask my dear sister, who's magic at this, and she's super busy, so I want to, you know, give as much information to her so she can quickly put something together. Because that's that's what she, I mean. Literally, I I was in Canva for like you know 45 minutes today, and I got nothing good. I got nothing. I think I nailed down some colors that I want and found the font and potentially found a logo, but then putting it all together. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> and Canva, I like it, but like, I, I think I need to learn how to do, how to, how to use Canva. Like you have to learn how to use Google, like Gmail and stuff. Like I had to reteach myself how to do Google because I've been in Outlook for years. Yes, I have worked for dinosaur companies and even my startup companies use dinosaur platform, no offense, Microsoft, but I, I think I just need to take a course on Canva. And so this is another brilliant about a brilliant aspect about not necessarily being on a timeline or having the urgency is I, I can, I can, you know, teach, I can learn, I can learn not just here, make a quick logo. It's like, no, let's learn all of Canva. So I can excel in that. And then later use those skills towards, you know, there's going to be so many things I'm going to want to design that I'm not going to necessarily need to poke my sister about. Hey, hey, sister. Hey, hey, it's your little sister. Hey, hey. And because, um, you know, she loves that. 
but but yeah and same goes with Instagram I should probably learn this TikTok ish and YouTube I think I'm doing pretty you know but I don't know how to like edit and stream and and cut videos and add all those fun like oh, you go up my nose and now you go through my ears and on my brain and that's what it looks like. Not sure why you would want to see all that stuff. And that's, I'm not sure why that came to my mind, but you know, interesting stuff like that. I should, I'm sure not everyone on those platforms have someone doing it for them. They are doing it for themselves. So I have a lot of learning, a lot of growing and a lot of challenging times and it's going to be effing fun um it's gonna be having fun and I am very much looking forward to just continuing everything with with all of you and being open to you know create more more content and and get the get the mom ball rolling and um you know I I I I hope that I hope I know I know there's another mom out there that's sitting on their couch wanting to start their own, you know, online business and and looking for tools and tricks and and uh and just wanting to know that they're not alone in doing something like this and how it is scary. And you often look at or I, I often look at my, you know, bank account and realize like, oh, cool. <laughs> Maybe that, you know, um, you know, six figures salary I used to get would, would be making a dent, but you know, that's why I'm decided to call in abundance other ways. And that's through relationship, especially with my daughter and more with my husband. And I just was not, a, I was losing my soulfulness and my love and and kindness, honestly, towards, towards others that was authentic and really organic, like without me trying, because I often at work, it was exhausting because I, I was pushing myself toward being who I was as opposed to just being who I am. And, and it's taxing. And I, now understand that you know the the burnout was was inevitable and happened on multiple occasions and it was usually when I was in person for more than you know two days in a row and um and all that stuff and and being a mom on top of that so so now it's just it it's you know it's me being a mom and now work's just coming in as part of that. And, um, and I can't imagine it being any other way. And I'm going to be, you know, creating focus groups of just curious of what everyone wants to learn. Like what would be something on a weekly basis that you as a mama would want to see? Is it a funny skit? Is it a story about breastfeeding? Is it, you know, well, at this stage, I'm not breastfeeding, but, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to, you know, once and whenever, you know, my husband's sperm gets to my egg, me, 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 and I do that, that I, I get to share my pregnancy journey with everybody. And that'll have different, you know, types of posts and, and relatability to those also going through pregnancy at that time. And so now I can really share about where Zena and I am at this stage of our lives. And it's, you know, Zena being at the critical, you know, year, almost year and a half, she's almost uh, 16 months to, um, to three years old, you know, they, they, ugh, I'm using quotes, um, say our most critical but whatever and I should probably change that attitude because yeah she's learning a lot but you know and also a mom who's trying to start a business and and uh, yeah I know I just I can't wait to meet everybody and 
get get you know just I'm just putting putting all my out there AMA. I hope that doesn't sound like a and that's me with a wick not a wick oh my gosh y'all my brain is totally fried a whip there we go a wick okay mama yeah and probably on that note all i'm gonna take my whip and my wick and uh start dinner before i fall asleep in the meal and um sign off for now but thank you so much for tuning in and continue doing you and staying true to you and in your flow. And I will see everyone manana. Miss Mama is signing off.